eliminated. Hey guys, what is going on? Uh, Momo didn't literally switch to Protoss like main, I don't think. Uh, he asked me if I wanted to cast this game. It is the Go for StarCraft 2 Cup number 73. And I was like, yeah, I'll cast it. And I was like, wait, you want to cast me doing a ZVZ with you? Like, because his ZVZ is pretty bad. And he's like, well, I'll be any other race if you want. Honestly, I probably have a better chance of winning. So I was like, I haven't seen a game of your Protoss, but I don't want you to lose for me. But he picked Protoss anyways. So Momo playing as Toss. Uh, he spawns as the purple Protoss. And Shoken, or Shoken, spawns as the red Zerg. Momo as Protoss. Never seen this. And uh, we will see how he does. This is pretty far into the Go for StarCraft 2 Cup. I think it's around 6 or 7. Pretty sure it's still B01s. And he does hotkey his Nexus 1 to 0, showing us that he is indeed the Protoss, using all his hotkeys, wants to be able to hit anything, and, uh, do it all. And, uh, I'm still going to be Chrono boosting these probes out. And, uh, Shokin is going to, he's at 10. Is he going to 10? What are you doing? Proxy Hatchery? Are you kidding me? What is going on? Moo is not a Protoss player. Take him in the Mako game. Don't go. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. Like, a hatch first build that is not at a real base. I don't know if this is going to work, honestly. Like, if Moo just gets a wall, he should be able to hold this easily. Like, I have no idea. Like, is this. I guess you can get your queen. And your queen can sit down here. Your link's can be up here and start poking the zealot. I think I saw this in the GSL, actually. So we will find out if this build is viable. I'm guaranteeing you, Mo has never faced this build as Protoss. Because then again, I think this is like one of his first games playing as Protoss. And he is doing it fairly well. But to come up with such a unique strategy, I do not know how he will fare. So you see that pool go up, and uh, Moe's Pope is going to be doing a little dance. Be like, no, you shall not expand. And little Banana is uh, apparently on the phone, the Banana phone. And back in 56k days, you couldn't get a phone call and stay on the internet at the same time, so... Like uh, 56k, banana phones can't stay on the phone in play, so he just got a phone call and got DC'd. So unfortunately for him, he's not going to see how this proxy hatchery ends. The Zealot is coming out, or also known as the Zealot. And uh, getting a sentry, that sentry is going to go back, going to be able to throw down force fields. The Queen is not coming out for this. This is kind of odd. Four lings are coming just to attack that 7 S core. Zealot is going to poke, go back in the wall, like, ha ha! Got a hit on you. And like mass lings are coming out. The sentry is going to be able to throw down force fields. And be ranged. So Zealot is going to probably die. He's bringing a probe down so he can wall. Oh no, he just walls off with a pylon. And Mo is pausing the game. Lag. Exit. What? So he's got to close a few programs. He is lagging just a little bit. He realizes he has to micro like a champ right now to hold this off. So... He is lagging right now. He is known for laggy internet. He does drop a lot on ladder and such. I always hear him complaining because every now and then sometime he does lag. And he is telling some observers to leave. And uh, apparently not. So, two guys did be mannered and left. And uh, this sentry is taking out links and he is doing like mass walling time. And a force field does go down, saves the Cyber Nesquad, really does want to get this warp gate research done. And these links are now starting to attack the pylon. He throws down another Cyber Nesquad, prepping this one to go down. So he knows that Cyber Nesquad did go down. He's got sentries in the back, getting a Zealot, going to throw down another wall. And yeah, he's just going like mass wallings. Pylon's about to go down, throwing down another pylon. And it doesn't have any gateways up right now. 
going into this unit counting, we do have 25 probes versus the 10 drones. So if he can actually somehow hold this off eventually, he will be victorious. But I don't know if he's actually going to be able to hold this off. Still only 10 drones, 19 lings. The sentry has 6 kills. This sentry has 15 kills. Throwing down a force field to keep this gateway alive. Going to block the sentry in. So... And throwing down another force field, trying to keep these gates alive. This gateway is not going to get the sentry out. Going to have to cancel it. This one gateway in the back is going to keep going. These two sentries are still walling off. Mo is getting a lot of probes. Eventually, his probes and sentries may be able to take it out. This almost has a hole in the wall. But no, no hole. And now the Ling is going to be attacking this gateway. Mo keeping his wall up. Now has three sentries. 22 kills on a sentry. And I think these Lings have finally given up, possibly. And he hasn't really done anything else. No, Lings are going to come back and cancels that. Has to build the gateway again. The probe goes out on the other side. This four sentries here. One sentry is locked. This gateway could go down, but he does have force fields. This sentry should throw down force field before he dies. And does throw down force field, saving his brother uh, sentries. And Mo going to try to rewall up here. And that warp gate research is almost done. Going to be chrono boosting this and has a lot of sentries. 23 kills, 15 kills, 11 kills, 3 kills. And I'm not sure. He's going to start mining from the gold base now. He's like, okay. The Protoss can actually wall pretty good. So I'm going to go to this gold base and start mining. Because uh, why not? Why not do this? There's so many sentries and now a zealot out. Does he see this overlord? He may take out this overlord. He may be a little bit scared though. He doesn't know how many lings are out. He does have warp gates done. He is at 32 probes to 20 drones. Going in this lost tab though, it is actually in Moe's favor. Even though he's lost so many freaking buildings. There's been so many lings. He's like, oh wait, it may be smart to take out this. And let's throw some spine claws. Because I don't have enough drones as is. And the hallucinate now coming out for Moe. And Mo is going to be taking his backdoor natural. So two spine claws going there. We do have that backdoor natural going down. Look at the army tab. Mo probably could just A move and win. There's literally no army for Shokin. He has to drone up now. And Mo uh, still doing not sure what. He is getting a Stargate. So this target will probably produce a phoenix, go scout the map, and actually <laughs> he's moved so many units in the back, has to take out a pylon to get through and accidentally unpowered two of the gateways. And he's hallucinating a phoenix. And what? We have a spine crawler rush. Going into the good old spine crawler rush. What is... <laughs> Very unique play by Shuriken. I did not see spine crawler rush actually happening this game. But Moro is getting a Void Ray, and that may just win the game because uh, we just ha now have the Roach one. And uh, Spine Color Rush commence. So Spine Color is going to be poking away on these Wolf Gates. Those will be going down. And uh, Moro has enough units where he can take out all the Lings. The Spine Color probably won't be able to go up top. And the Void Ray is out. If he takes out this Overlord, this uh, Wolf Gate could live. But it doesn't look like he does. Now he is going to start attacking the queen. And then going to take all the free kills he can get. And one thing I don't think Shokin is realizing. Thankfully Moe doesn't play. He could whoop in here. Whoop in a bunch of zealots or something and go for his main. Going this army tab you see Moe still way ahead. 78 food to 43 food. And the lane's going to run up see what this composition looks like. And this void ray is now going to be taking all the kills. We still have Hallucinated Phoenix coming about just to scout. He sees the goal base. So that goal base is going to go down. All those Spine Colors unburrow. Not sure why. Just going to let the Spine Colors die a bit quicker. And all those Spine Colors do go down. We do have this Overlord. That is going to go down as well. Muro is uh, sitting very well. But then again, he never plays Protoss to my knowledge. And uh, going to start taking out this gold base. And make himself on two base. To just the one base Zerg. A bunch of Zerglings are coming. And Moe trying to do force fields. He's like, oh, these are pretty good, I think. And <laughs> traps a drone. 50 energy for one drone. But he has how many sentries? Eight. 
uh, 7. So it doesn't really matter what he does. 10 sentries, actually. He has sentries in the back, too, just in case he sneaks lings up. And look at this. The creep is all the way into Mo's base. Going to this army tab, though, Mo is so far ahead. 47 probes to 21 drones. And the lings have taken out the back door. Or the, yeah, back door natural. And, yeah, a lot of queens to prevent against any type of void rays. And Phoenix still coming just to scout around and see what is going on. Making pretty good use of that hallucination. He's like, okay. So let's see what your attack looks like. He's going to see, oh, that is a small army. I may just win the game. So Mo is sending this one Phoenix out. Going to be scouting. Going to see the 